Okay guys, good afternoon. No? So today we would be discussing about level of service. So the level of service has been mentioned uh, several times throughout our previous discussion na, no? uh, in terms of yung mga volume ng traffic. No? Kailangan natin minimize or maintain yung volume ng traffic in order for us to uh, to retain a level of service that is acceptable and uh, easy for the users para gamitin yung kalsada natin. Okay? So, in this lecture, we would be discussing in depth the level of service. However, no, we would be incorporating the design parameters or the methodology of TPWH in determining the level of service of uh, the roads in the Philippines. Okay? It doesn't matter what kind of road is being analyzed. No? Uh, there is a standard set by the TPWH. You can see it on the DPWH manual and how we will be able to get the level of service of the road. So first, let's define the level of service. The level of service represents a qualitative ranking of the traffic operational conditions experienced by users of a facility under specified roadway traffic, roadway traffic, and traffic control conditions. So, the level of service natin is na sa perception siya ng users natin, no? Yung mga na experience ng user niya. Uh, does it is the user madali bang gamitin yung kalsada natin or mahira? Ano? So, there are six levels of uh, level of service or there are six options, no? Uh, it ranges from A to F. With A representing the best operating conditions, while F represents the worst operating conditions. Ano? To apply the level of service concept to traffic analysis, it is necessary to select a performance measure that is representative of how motorists perceive the quality of service they are receiving on a facility. Ano? So, ano yung mga uh, perceive ng motorist na quality of service? So, according dito, ano, motorist tends to uh, evaluate their received quality of service in terms of factors such as speed and travel time, freedom to maneuver, traffic interruptions, and comfort and convenience. So, sa DPWH manual, no, uh, later we will be discussing na and makikita natin na ang main parameter na ginagamit dito sa Philippines in order for us to determine the level of service is the VCR. Okay? So, yung VCR, no, this is volume. Yung V stands for volume. Yung C stands for capacity. And yung R stands for ratio. So, uh, in order for us to determine the level of service uh, no, uh, under the methodology of the DPWH, we are going to use the VCR. So, sa natin makikita yan. So, these are the six levels of uh, the level of service with accordance to the DPWH manual. Okay? So, dito niya makikita yung VCR, yung volume to capacity ratio. Okay? Since ratio siya, ano? So, yung VCR natin no, is equal to volume over the capacity. Okay? So, ano tong volume na to? Itong volume na to, ito yung tinatawag natin PHV or yung peak R volume. Okay? Another meaning yan is yung peak R volume. Okay? So, na discuss natin yung about sa counting of volume in our previous topics on the traffic engineering studies and uh, when we talk about peak R volume, siya yung pinakamataas na volume inside the 60 minutes. Okay? Pero usually, ginagawa natin So, di ba tag-aaral tayo ng volume Or nag-gather tayo ng data ng volume for 24 hours So, let's say 6 a.m. tayo nag-start Okay, so 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. The following day yung data gathering natin Okay, then, measure uh, bibilangin natin siya no? So, itatabulate, itatabulate natin siya For example, first is 6 to 7 a.m. 7 to 8 a.m., uh, 8 to 9 a.m., okay? So, so uh, and so on, okay? Then, dyan, makikita natin kung nasan yung peak or volume natin, okay? So, let's say itong 7 to 8 na to, 7 to 8 a.m., dito may pinakamaraming gumamit na volume. 
or dito pinakamaraming na observe na data dun sa kalsada. So meaning, ito yung uh, PCR volume mo, PHV. So for reference, let's say dito is 100, so 6 to 7 a.m. Then sa so 7 to 8 a.m. is 150. Then sa so 8 to 9 is 120. Then uh, so forth, no? So meaning, 150 yung PHP mo. Yun yung gagamitin mo na volume. Okay? I mean, yun yung gagamitin mo in consideration dito sa volume. Pero not necessarily ito na agad. Okay? Then yung capacity naman, meron ding set na standard uh, depending on the width. Okay? Yung capacity naman is dependent depending on the width of the road. Okay? Depending on sa width ng road. So you will just divide it, then you will get the VCR. Okay? Once meron ng VCR, hahanapin mo kung saan papasok dyan yung VCR mo, and you can now determine kung ano yung level of service ng asada mo. Okay? So sabi natin, uh, level, service of, level of service of A is the best uh, functioning road and F is the worst. Ano? So yung A, no. Condition of free flow with high speeds and low traffic volume. Drivers can choose desired speed without any delay. So, uh, uh, yung level of service of A, especially on city, that is very, very, uh, very rare, you know? So, especially sa peak R, no, you cannot, uh, you cannot actually expect the level of, level of service of A sa mga city highway. Okay? Ang pinaka-acceptable dyan, no, if you are designing, you know, Sa akin, sa, para sa akin, pag nagsika, pwede na yan. Okay? So, yung level of surface of uh, C, no, it is in the zone of stable stable flow. And drivers are restricted in selecting their speed. Okay? So, meron ka lang uh, restriction sa speed mo. Pero, overall, uh, stable naman yung flow natin. So, ano ba yung level of service of F, no? Forced or congested flow at low speeds, no? Long queues and delays. So, ito yung matalas sa ating mga city highway. Okay? Hindi naman natin may iwasan yan. So, usually, pag nasa F ka na, uh, you have to make adjustments. Kailangan yung mga transportation projects mo, pagka meron ka ng uh, ibang way in order for you to enhance or uh, bet better your uh, level of service. No? Kahit hanggang kung F ka, magawa mo man lang C. So, that is a very big win na for everybody that is using your uh, for everybody that is using your uh, road. Okay? Next, no? this is um, our capacity. No? Dito mo kukunin yung capacity natin. So, this is the, B table, the BHCC table. Okay? Or the basic early capacity in passenger car units. Okay? So, uh, carriage width, meaning kasama yung shoulder. Okay? Uh, it is based on carriage width. So, uh, ito, itong mga, ito is based lang sa uh, isang lane. Okay? So, dun sa pinaka-carriage width ng kalsada mo. Okay? Dun sa, kung one way lang yan, sabihin natin 5 meters, then you would be using this. Okay? So, kung sabihin naman natin 5 meters pero 2 lanes, no? Yan, pag ganyan yung, kung ito yung road mo, okay? Then, 5 meters yung total na to, okay? Then, ang isang way mo is 2.5 meters lang. So, dito ka lang mag-fall sa single less than uh, 4 meters. Okay? So, uh, you have uh, 4 rural and 4 urban, no? So, saan ba magsisimula na magbago? Dito sa 5.1 to 6 meters, dun pala magkakamera ng difference between rural and urban. Okay? The capacity is normally expressed in passenger car unit per hour or PCU per hour, no? And would uh, depend on the so-called passenger car equivalent factors or the PCEF of the different vehicle classes that compose the traffic. So, ano naman tong passenger car equivalent uh, factors or yung PCEF? Of course, no, sa different sa sakyan natin, pag nagbilang tayo, let's say, meron ka dyang uh, trucks, okay? Meron ka dyang trucks. Okay? Then, meron ka dyang mga normal na sasakyan lang. Of course, ang bilang natin dyan, parehong one lang. Pag 
nagagather tayo ng data. However, yung nasasakop niyang space dito sa road na to is very much different. Okay? Magkaibang magkaiba yan. Okay? So, of course, mas malaking space yung nagagather or nagagamit na itong truck compared dito sa mga normal na uh, sedan lang. So, uh, we have to adjust it or meron tayong kailangang i-multiply na factors in order for us to normalize the volume na kinagamit na yun. And that is um, present din yun dun sa DPWH manual na pinagmula nitong mga table natin. Okay? So, ano yung mga PCEF na yun? So, eto siya. So, uh, here are your different kinds of uh, uh, vehicle or the ve different vehicle types. Okay? Then, here are your uh, PCEF. Okay? Nandiyan yung mga PCEF niya. So, for motorcycle, 2.5. Okay? Motor or tricycle. So, yung PCEF natin does not only... Uh, consider yung size nung mga uh, vehicle type. Okay? It also, meron din siyang consideration dun sa mga uh, speed and other things na pwede maka-apekto dun sa performance nung sasakyan dun sa klase ng uh, roadway na yun. So, ano ginagawa mo dyan? So, pag nagbilang ka, okay, diba sabihin natin, sabihin natin 6 to 7, 7 to 8, no? Sabihin natin 7 to 8 yung PHV natin, peak or volume natin. So, kung nasa 7 to 8 yung peak or volume natin, okay? Kailangan mo pa yung i-breakdown. So, sabi natin yun yung 150. Okay? So, sabihin natin yung uh, vehicle type 1, yung type 1 natin is dun sa out of 150 is 30. Yung type 2, sabihin natin is uh, 40. Then, yung type 3 natin is 30 plus 40, 70 is 80. Sabihin natin 80. Okay? That, ang total niyan is 150. So, ano yung equivalent volume talaga niya? So, yung P1, no? Ita times mo siya sa 2.5. Okay? Yung 40, ita times mo siya sa 1. And yung uh, T3 natin, which is 80, mumultiply natin siya sa 1.5. So, this is equal to 75, this is equal to 40, and this is equal to 120. So, this is 5, 1, 3, carry 1, 235 PC. So, ito yung total volume natin. Okay? Then, depending sa capacity ng road, no, makukuha na natin yung VCR. So, yung volume natin, which is V over C, Magiging equal na yan sa 235 over capacity. Depending sa kind ng kalsada, doon sa width ng kalsada na ginagamit natin. Okay? Or na ina-analyze natin. Okay? So, let's try. Ano? This uh, problem is from uh, one of the transportation planning projects last year. No? It was uh, nagbilang sila ng pang ng sasakyan sa isang kalsada I'm not just familiar which uh, ang aling kalsada yung binilangan nila okay? pero ito yung na uh, observe nila itong present trips itong trips in 5 years and trips in 10 years no, pinuha na lang nila in terms of the growth factor method we will be discussing more of that no, sa trip generation natin in our future discussions. Okay? So, here are the uh, PCEF of uh, yung mga na-observed nilang vehicle type na dumadaan sa kalsada na yun. Okay? So, the data presented above was gathered by transportation planning students in 2019 on a two-lane road with a curve carriage width of 6.8 meters and a shoulder width of 1.5 meters. Okay? So, para sa yung shoulder width? At alin ba yung shoulder width? So, ang buong carriage width mo, okay, kung ito yung, uh, okay, kung mara, yan yun. Okay, so, ang buong carriage width mo is, yan. Ito yung buong carriage width mo. Okay? Uh, so, let's say ito yung shoulder, ha? Then, ito yung road. Ito yung road, then meron kang shoulder na ganyan. Okay? So, yan yung buong carriage width mo. Okay? So, meaning, yung shoulder width mo of 1.5 meters, 0.75 lang yan. Kasi, 
dalawang shoulder mo on both lanes. Okay? Bakit both lanes? Ba't naging two lanes siya? Kasi nakalagay dyan, uh, two lane road. Okay? With a carriage width of 6.8 meters. Okay? <coughs> so, meaning, no, sing, ang gagawin mo is 6.8 over 2. So, that is 3.4. Okay? So, meaning, ang capacity mo is babalik tayo dito sa table na to ang capacity mo is single less than 4 meters on an urban area so meaning ang capacity mo is 600 okay so ang capacity mo is equal to 600 okay footnote for shoulder width of 2 meters or less the capacity should be 10% less. Okay? So, anong ang gagawin mo? So, yung capacity mo is only 90% of the of what is given on the table. So, this is equivalent to 540 lang ang capacity mo. Okay? So, uh, remember, VCR natin is equivalent to uh, volume times capacity Meron na tayong capacity Which is equal to 540 uh, Vehicles Okay, 540 na yung Capacity natin So let's try this ano? So for present trips no, Yung ngayon uh, Okay, so, uh, mali itong mga uh, value na to, no? 618, 486, 48, 734, 577, 58. Mali yan. Hindi lang natin na-copy from uh, the other table. Okay, so, ang totoong value niya is ito. So, ito is 100. Then, next is 70. Okay, it's 70 to. Then, ito is 10. Okay? Then, 150, 100. Then, this one is 20. Okay? Then, next is 200. 120. And 38. Okay? So, tingnan natin ngayon yung level of service present trips, then in trips in 5 years, and trips in 10 years. Okay? So, ito is considering na walang magbabago dun sa land uses around the area of the road, and wala rin mga widening na mangyayari dun sa road natin. Okay? So, up to 10 years from now, okay, yung road natin is as is. Tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging level of service nung kalsada na yan. Okay? So, ang volume natin sa so first, no, at present, at present, okay, ang volume natin, volume at present, okay, so that is equivalent to 100 times 2.5 plus 70 times 1. Okay, then plus 10 times 1.5. Okay, so that is equal to 5, 7, 8, 8. So that is equivalent to 335. Okay, so meaning our VCR or volume to capacity ratio is equal to uh, 335 over 540. Okay, so that is equal to 0 0.62. So, meaning, no, 0 0.62, sa so natin titignan kung anong uh, level of service niya. So, 0 0.62 will fall under here. Okay? Ito siya. So, Le ang level of therefore, ang level of service niya is C. Okay? 
So, level of service C. So, at present, no? Okay lang. Kaya pa, no? Uh, tolerable pa yung traffic dun sa uh, road na yun. Kasi level of service C pa, eh. Ano? Uh, good flow pa, although hindi mabibilis yung sasakyan, wala ka rin naman masyadong congestion. Okay? Now, let's look for uh, <clears throat> the level of service five years from now. Okay? So, that is equivalent to uh, 150 times 2.5 plus 100 times 1 then plus 20 times 1.5 okay so that is equal to plus 100 times 1 plus so that is equal to 505 so our VCR here our VCR ito present ito 5 years from now you know so that is equivalent to 505 over 540. Okay? So that is equivalent to uh, 0 0.93. So again, titingnan mo dun sa table. Ano nga? Nasaan yung level of service natin at 0.93? So, ina siya. Okay? Ito siya. Okay. So, dito, level of service niya is E. Okay? So, uh, malaki na yung difference niya from C. Ano? Uh, hindi na siya masyadong tolerable. Kailangan mo na magkamera ng projects or altern alternative routes kasi nagbibuild up na yung congestion sa level of service of E. Okay? Masyadong marami na yung volume nung sasakyan na dumadaan. Okay? So, ano yung mga pwede mong gawin? So, pwede mong uh, yung, uh, let's say, pang gawin mong one way lang yung kalsada, you know, lahat yung papunta lang sa isang direction, para 6.8 meters yung magagamit mo. Ano? Pero minsan, uh, of course, hindi naman feasible yun. So, you have to think of another uh, solutions in order para mapataas mo yung level of service. Okay? And lastly, you know, uh, let's compute for the level of service 10 years from now. So that is uh, 200 times 2.5. Okay, plus 120 times 1. Okay, then plus 38 times 1.5. Okay, so that is equal to. So that is equal to 677. Okay, so our VCR or the volume to capacity ratio 10 years from now is equal to uh, 677 over 540. Okay, so that is. Uh, 1.25 Okay, so it is more than 1 So that is uh, Level of service F Okay, so dito Sobrang kung nagka-congest uh, Sobrang yung congestion dyan So, yan na yung normally makikita mo Pag mga rush or sa iba't ibang Kalsada natin, okay So, if uh, you are in Very much interested in pursuing A career in transportation engineering you know, This is the first step you have to determine the level of service nung isang kalsada. Present. Then, you would have a... Uh, kailangan mo ma-generate kung ilan yung trips mo in 5 years, in 10 years. And then there, you have to uh, propose a solution kung paano mo ma-maintain or mapapataas pa yung mga level of service ng mga kalsada mo. Okay? That is just one way of computing for the level of service. We have... Others that are more theoretical and uh, systematical, pero as we can just, ano, uh, pwede nito na lang yung gamitin natin. Wala naman masama, hindi naman tayo papahamba rito. And if you are going to practice here in the Philippines din naman, ano, uh, ito yung normal yung ginagamit na.
Okay? So, that's it for today. I'll see you next week. Thank you.